This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the factors that affect lattice enthalpy. So we'll start with the definition of lattice enthalpy. Lattice enthalpy is the enthalpy change when one mole of a solid ionic compound is broken down into its gaseous ions. Here we have a diagram that represents lattice enthalpy. On the left, we have the lattice structure of a solid ionic compound. And on the right, we have gaseous ions. In the solid ionic compound, the ions are attracted to each other by their opposite charges, which is known as an ionic bond. Energy is required to overcome the attractions between the ions, and the energy required is known as the lattice enthalpy. In other words, lattice enthalpy is the energy required to break apart a solid ionic compound into gaseous ions. Next, we look at some equations that represent lattice enthalpy together with the lattice enthalpy values. The first example is for sodium chloride. In this equation, one mole of solid sodium chloride is broken down into one mole of gaseous sodium ions and one mole of gaseous chloride ions. The lattice enthalpy of sodium chloride is 790 kilojoules per mole. The next example is for lithium chloride. This equation shows the breakdown of one mole of solid lithium chloride into one mole of gaseous lithium ions and one mole of gaseous chloride ions. The lattice enthalpy is 864 kilojoules per mole. The next equation is for sodium oxide, which breaks down into two moles of gaseous sodium ions and one mole of gaseous oxide ions. And the lattice enthalpy is 2528 kilojoules per mole. And the last example is for magnesium oxide, in which one mole of solid magnesium oxide breaks down into one mole of gaseous magnesium ions and one mole of gaseous oxide ions. And the lattice enthalpy is 3791 kilojoules per mole. If we look at the values of the lattice enthalpies, we can see they vary quite considerably. So next we look at the reasons for the differences in the lattice enthalpy of different ionic compounds. The first factor that we look at is the effect of ionic radius on the lattice enthalpy. In this table we have data for two ionic compounds, sodium chloride and lithium chloride. The radius of the anion is the same for both compounds, which both contain the chloride ion. However, the cation radius is different. From the data, we can see that the lithium ion has a smaller radius than the sodium ion. And if we look at the lattice enthalpy, we can see that lithium chloride has a higher lattice enthalpy than sodium chloride. So what's the reason for the higher lattice enthalpy of lithium chloride? The reason for the higher lattice enthalpy of lithium chloride is the smaller radius of the lithium ion compared to the sodium ion. The smaller the ionic radius, the greater the attraction between the ions and the stronger the ionic bond. And this results in a higher value for the lattice enthalpy. So to summarize, the smaller the ionic radius of the ion, the stronger the ionic bond and the higher the value of the lattice enthalpy. And this explains why lithium chloride has a higher lattice enthalpy than sodium chloride. Next we look at the effect of the ionic charge and the ionic radius on the lattice enthalpy. In this table we have data for two ionic compounds, sodium oxide and magnesium oxide. Both compounds contain the oxide ion which has a charge of 2 minus. If we look at the charge on the cation we can see that the sodium ion has a 1 plus charge and the magnesium ion a 2 plus charge. And if we look at the cation radius we can see that the magnesium ion has a smaller radius than the sodium ion. And if we compare the lattice enthalpy values, we can see that the value for magnesium oxide is higher than that for sodium oxide. So here we have two factors that are affecting the value of the lattice enthalpy. They are the charge on the ion and the ionic radius. The magnesium ion has a higher charge and a smaller radius. And this results in magnesium oxide having a higher lattice enthalpy value than sodium oxide. So to summarize, the greater the charge on the ion and the smaller the ionic radius, the stronger the ionic bond and the higher the value of the lattice enthalpy. So let's end the video with a summary. Lattice enthalpy can be thought of as the energy required to break up a solid ionic compound into its gaseous ions, as we can see in the diagram shown. Lattice enthalpy can be represented in an equation where one mole of solid ionic compound is broken down into its gaseous ions, as we can see from these four equations.
and the value of the lattice enthalpy depends on two factors, which are charge on the ion and the ionic radius. The higher the charge on the ion and the smaller the ionic radius, the stronger the ionic bond and the higher the value of the lattice enthalpy.